I'd like to ask our next um, our next presenter, Dr. Dr. Mohammed. Nice. Okay. Thank you. So first of all, I thank you all. It is a wonderful arrangement. Uh, Professor Dr. Lam uh, did it. It is indeed a great job. The taking the people Pro from Professor, uh, sorry to interrupt you. Just for the your 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 on the screen here. If you can click on show screen show slides. Because uh, on, on the social media, it looks smaller. No, no, down. If you go down, just be, play your presentation. Uh -huh. Just click on the on the on the show screen in the bottom. Is it okay now? Yeah, the next week. No, down, down, go down. Uh -huh. You know, as if you want to play to to click on the slide. Yeah, this one. Okay, this one. Is it? Is it? Done? Yeah, that's it. Yes. Oh, yeah, so nice of you. Uh, technology is still you need to learn a lot. Uh, so what I'm trying to just uh, tell that uh, all of my uh, friends in this conference, actually, uh, we, we, are, we have come to the, the, the last part. So in some part of the world now it is night and someone is sleeping already. So I have come with uh, experiences uh, since I can say last uh, 40 years, I have been teaching throughout the world and covered the Africa, uh, then we can say the Europe, North American country, Far East and Middle East, uh, and the South, South Asian uh, countries. So this is actually a wonderful uh, conference uh, now. And the situation we are facing, this is actually uh, a completely different situation than we have never faced since the last 40 years in my life. So I had experience in, throughout the teaching experience is in, in class teaching, where we have uh, lots of uh, philosophies we, we you are using actually in, in class teaching. Uh, however, now this is the first time that we all are facing the problem. Uh, first, we used to go, we used to go to school and used to tell the students, please, uh, that means turn off your cell phone. So now they used to turn off the cell phone and used to teach. Now it is now you turn. We have, we have to tell them, no, turn on your cell phone. Then we are teaching. So this is the, the complete change of the pattern. And people used to say before uh, students used to go to school. Now school has come to the cell phone now. So our young children, even at home, grade three, uh, four, five, all of them, they are now waiting and sitting with the computer and they are doing the online classes. It is not only the mature people, not only the university. Uh, in fact, uh, the, the main problem here now that many people are not aware of in developing as well as in developed nation, the how to use the technology. So before I, I give you the, just a brief idea of what the philosophy we are using before pandemic has started, and before we started this, the online teaching. So you can see that here, yeah, a few of them, creation of suitable learning environment. When you are in the class, we are directly confronting with the students. So normally I tell the students three things. That is my main philosophy, that I tell them give importance to three things in your life. And the three things are in the class also. Number one, the man in front of you. So when I am in front of you, so I, I expect, I wish all of you will give importance to me. The same thing with me, I'm as a teacher, will give importance to the students. Uh, by the way, my subject is accounting. So if anybody just miss that one minute of my lecture, they miss the whole class. It has got a very big connection with each other. It is not just lecture and you can grasp it later. It has got the systematic connections. So one should be very careful. So I told that that is what we need to do. I give attention to you, you give attention to me. That's the first thing. And the second thing, give importance to your work. Now you are for three hours in this class, just to do the one topics of accounting subject. You are to be there. If you are outside of, or if you're working with the, your uh, text or uh, your telephone, that means you are not with me. You're not with your work. So we have to give importance to your work, the second one. 
and give importance to your time. I'm getting with three, three hours of your time here today. So if you don't use the time properly, that means I can't give you anything and you cannot receive anything. So I start like that, that the philosophy that to convince the students to give the good talk, I tell them this, let us all give importance to three things. The person in front of you, the work in front of you, and the time. So it just starts anywhere in the world I taught. I got very good feedback and result due to that. So this is called creation of a suitable learning environment. Then a student psychology, that means the knowledge, personal interaction. Now it is a very big thing now, how to the, the inculcate the brain of the students. In a class, we have a different level of students. So if I say, do you understand? And two or three students say, yes, I have understood. I should not be satisfied because they are not the 100% in the class. There are so many because of they are shy, they cannot ask questions. So I have own techniques now to open up them and to educate them and to let them feel comfortable with their understandings. Then brain-based approach, the different approaches in the teaching. And then power of involvement, multidimensional means. This is, I explained very clearly, and all of you do it actually. The creation of environment, I already told, and then starting the psychology, starting students' psychology and in-depth knowledge is essential. It, it is very uh, essential for us, if you see. And then the, the this process is supported by personal interaction with my students as one of the most important aspects of my teaching. Familiarity with my students is crucial to the develop, development of a good uh, report with them. Availability, office hours, one and one appointment. These are another, the psychology to use. Brain-based approach to utilize other means of teaching rather than direct classroom teaching. Approach may be used by introducing multidimensional teaching process, result in making students use their own intelligence and making the learning process more creative. Consider teaching as a learning experience. Learn to turn devotion and dedication into a fun activity for the students. Then we come to these multidimensional means. Not all students enjoy class lectures. Some enjoy learning through practical training, and some through presentation of papers and seminars, workshop. So we have a lot of facilities around the globe. The accounting job, we can go and visit industries, business farms, or specific uh, non-profit organizations. That we can give assignment to them, group work. So these different processes are start. Yeah, the periodic tests, uh, group discussions, field-related work, using case studies, use of different teaching aids, seminars, and workshops. So this is now the what I'm talking about on campus. And everybody who are teaching on, on campus, you are aware of all these arts and techniques. Now I come to online. Online, I have seen there are two different types of online teaching. Now I'm teaching in a university that they have online system since a long time. So this online system, it is students are not very much visible to their teachers. So the university where I'm, I'm teaching, there are two types of education going on. One is on campus, one is online. So this online one, I send them, I send them the materials, uh, my contact information. So they read the materials and then uh, I give them the, uh, some sample questions and answers to understand the basic of the chapter. And then continuously, we keep in touch through email. So there is no lecture, nothing is going on. So we just keep in touch with the students. And there are some cases, there are some discussions. So in the discussions, we give the, uh, the, 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 them the job to be done. First one, initial posting. And then they have to give at least three comments on the postings of their, their colleagues. So then when the initial posting starts, I start giving the comments, how I have observed this one. So now this week I'm giving a discussion uh, that in forum that is called uh, the, the uh, 
dropping of an unprofitable customer. So this is the discussion. It will continue. People are writing now two sessions. They are writing about this topic. Shall we really drop a, a customer who is unprofitable? So why he is unprofitable? So all these things they are now giving the causes and the the, the uh, reasons. Now we are highlighting the COVID now. So a lot of information coming. Someone on customer who was very profitable before now he's not because he's a victim of the COVID. So that means all these discussions now, students are exploring. This is called one online. And I teach about 11, 12 weeks for one semester, then we start the next one. But the second online, which I'm going to talk actually, that is the most important. The on-campus is turned to online. That is all the students we are teaching in the class, now they are at home due to the COVID, they cannot attend the class. One of my daughters, she's doing law, University of Ottawa in Canada. So two semesters now, she used to study at home. That means almost one year. So she was in the class, now she's at home. So practically I'm experiencing now what they are facing. And the same thing with me, I'm experiencing that what students are feeling. So I have taken here experience from developing countries and from Canada. Even if we tell that we are teaching Canada, but to whom we are teaching, many of the students in Canada, they are international students. So they might have changed the environment. They have come to a develop the, the, the uh, or technologically developed place, or they have got some uh, um, opportunities to learn. They have got resources, but yet they have come from the developing countries like Southeast Asian countries, Middle Eastern countries, or the, the, the uh, Far East countries. So when they come here, yet they are not used to the technology that we people are using here. That is one thing. And this is the first time in the history of Canada. The first time, if you remember, anybody who is my senior here, the first time in Canada that for years, international students, they have not seen the Canada, but they are studying. One of my granddaughter, she got admission this UFT, University of Toronto. Another one, grandson, they're twins, got admission to Waterloo University, both of them. So they are so much excited that they will come to Canada, they'll do their studies, everything. Everything is ready. Suddenly now everything is gone, it's stopped. One semester, they are a student of Canada, but they are studying in Bangladesh. And some of my students to whom they are supposed to come, from the airport, they are stopped. They are not allowed to come because we are not opening them. Our students, we are teaching them in abroad. So the, the, we, are, we are now coming in contrast to the problems and the, the possibilities and solutions. We are learning. So this is a very the interesting learning for all teachers, all bodies, all our organizations, and also for the students. It's a big challenge for us. So now, this I'm focusing on the other one. I don't need to focus this online teaching. I told we are sending the materials. They are starting and most of them, they are all mature actually. All mature. They are working at the, 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 uh, the some organizations. And they are having children, their family, but they are doing the online studies and they are getting the education. It's a BBA uh, and also masters we are teaching. So, but the one which now the on-campus completely turned to online. Now we are now facing a lot of problems there. And that is uh, sure to face because it is not, it is not a, a traditional system of learning. This is suddenly we got uh, into it. And then the environment, the situation made us comfortable. So now if you see now classes, uh, within the same zone. The, what are the things now here? The, we are using the primary platform, use Zoom, for all, everybody. Class lectures, group discussions, presentations, they are all doing in online. 
there are several advantages and disadvantages of teaching through this platform. Adjustment period required for technical difficulties being technologically equipped. Now, if you go here, so what are the advantages actually? Now, what is happening with us? As a teacher, how I am feeling? It is good. Now, suppose I have opened a, a Zoom with all this conference. I thank to all of my friends, colleagues who have come and listening. It's a wonderful facility for us that it combined the whole world together in one place. It is saving time. Suppose when I go to my university due to traffic exam or this and that or coming and going and then taking preparation, going to class. So it's a very big, huge question of time consumption. But when we are at home and sitting in front of you, you are watching. So we don't need all this driving. We don't need all this communication or this transportation. So it is just technology has taken us together. More attendance. It is very easy for students. They don't need to take the dress to go to school and then take their bag and take lunch. You see, the same thing with them. They are sitting at home and they are just learning innovative ways to teach with a technology, different programs such as online surveys. So now this also give a technological advancement that one can use that one when they are teaching on online. Platforms have functions that mimic real life classroom setting. Buttons to raise hand, button to clap, chat box to ask questions. Everything is there, that's what they are telling. Whenever, these are the advantages. Whenever somebody can ask question, and then as Dr. Alam told that uh, a very wonderful presentation, let us clap and give a big hand. So this all we, are, we can do, we can see each other. But now this is, we are far from each other, but it looks like we are very near. The technology has brought us very near. So the same thing, to whom I'm teaching in Bangladesh, the students, to whom I'm teaching in African countries, Suppose one of my students, she is in Nairobi in Canada, in Kenya, in Nairobi. So whenever I'm teaching to her, our students who is in Bangladesh, uh, teaching to uh, them, or someone in India teaching to them, because all of them, they are supposed to come and attend the class, but they could not come because of the COVID, the school is closed. So the, now we have opened this the internationally and nationally. Those who are here inside, we are, the, the, we started online and those who are outside the same thing. So this is the advantage that we can gain in the domestic class. Suppose I am now trying to give you an idea what is happening within the country, what is happening outside the country. So to whom I am teaching within the country, as I told you first, I'm teaching the students in Canada, but to be sure that they are not Canadian students. I have a lot of Chinese students. You see, when I teach to them in the class, they don't understand English very well. But when they look at me, my way of expression and my way of explanation, automatically they understand the things. So I told, how did you understand? That they told that you don't need the language to understand. You understand from the behavior of your talking and explanation. So that means, Whenever we teach the face-to-face, -face, it makes so many things clear. I ask questions and they answer. So, but now whenever we take the chance to teach students online, we miss all these things. So there we can see some of the disadvantages. Technological difficulties, they're very big thing, very big thing. Can you, can you imagine within 24 hours, about 12 hours, the electricity is gone in certain develop, developing nations. The very big problem with electricity. They started, they are listening, suddenly electricity is gone. All connection is stopped. So we have resources, we have our recorded things, they will listen it, but still it does not give that proper uh, that means uh, the enthusiastic system or this doesn't give the uh, proper, you can say, the result of what we are trying to give to students. 
technological difficulties comes and then you know that developing nations they are not that much techno te technically developed with all this method we are using but still it is going on so nicely that we are getting good result because now you are to face all challenges that we are we are getting due to the covid a students keeping camera off sometimes okay now suppose i am talking when i see that you are uh, in front of me camera is on that you are just uh, the nodding that you are head that you are telling yes you are understanding that means it gives you a shot of encouragement as a teacher when you teach in the class we see that the students are happy or they are telling oh that means they are showing their emotion that means they are understanding so you get very happy but now you cannot force them someone they keep the camera off so that interaction become less difficult for some students due to less studious home so that means the, the sometimes you give the things to them but now home environment you know how it is if someone is in school that for that specific period they are detached from home and they are very much in an environment but home environment does not give that facility actually see now home environment someone cannot cope up distracts their educational drive less interaction may be difficult to explain concept without a back blackboard that's what i am trying to tell if you teach economics or management that you have some points but unfortunately uh, since i started teaching since 1976 i had to write a lot of things with this hand in the now this these days we say blackboard but it was uh, at that time uh, not blackboard it is a different type of things uh, we, we we used to say blackboard but now th there is a uh, other we are writing with the pen and pencils so it changed from uh, country to country so they are actually what i'm trying to tell that accounting is such a subject if i talk you will understand nothing but if i write then immediately you grab you grab it it's very important so if say if say 5 plus 4 is 9 so that if you ask second time so might be confused but if you write it in the blackboard then you will see they can understand actually very well it opens their mind because to teach accounting it needs a great techniques when i was in kenya the students told that within 15 days we understand what he's talking about so then the, the teacher my head of the department asked how he told he, he takes the our thinking the grassroots level so if we do like that take the thinkings to grassroots level and slowly slowly we develop then it is them they become the teacher they can teach so for all these things we need a direct interaction other subject i don't know how you have experience but with my experience i saw that around the globe that the direct interaction helps a lot to teach this subject accounting and then next one is uh, the uh is advantage enable to hold students accountable for not paying attention this is what i am telling now when when i i teach in the class so i see someone is talking so i ask them i smile and ask them what is my last word i just ask them it is not charging them you see they are mature so i i smile and say can you please tell me my dear what is your last word so he was sorry sorry we are talking we could not give attention you see now you don't worry you haven't given attention to my talk but i gave attention that you are not giving attention so at least someone is watching so don't worry so we shall cooperate with each other then they got the answer so it is called that i can give attention to my students i can talk to them or i can that uh, encourage them that please listen to me what i am talking about and sometimes i take the students those who are a bit talking i give a little bit understanding i take them and tell them write it in the blackboard write it for us we shall so they are going they are writing this is another way of making them 
encouraging them that to, to learn. So that type of uh, things actually it is not possible. Okay, now we are going to talk about the international students, suppose to whom we are teaching in Bangladesh and India. I have taken Bangladesh here. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, international students enrolled in Canadian institutions had to stay in their home country. So you see, you think yourself that a, a student from developing countries that who paid in one family, two students, they paid 30,000 Canadian dollar semester fee, each one. So now we are going, getting about how many? The, 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 so to say 60,000. So they have, they, are, they budgeted other expenses also. They are coming, they are flying, a very big preparation. So suddenly now everything is stopped. So they are to stay at home and they are to do the, they are learning from home. So unfortunately due to COVID-19, international students enroll in Canadian universities had to stay in their home country. This present, present difficulties in relation to the time difference. Now, this is a big difference. Now, I, I thank uh, our uh, the organizer, Professor Dr. Alam, that how he arranged time. He started from Indonesia because they are sleeping now. And then Malaysia, and then slowly, slowly he came to, when they are sleeping, we wake up. And my one is good that it is now one o'clock, one past here in this country. So we are all awake. Now there is no problem. But if it would be early morning for me, I could not attend yet. So this is how when I'm teaching that many students to whom I'm teaching online, the home country, all of them, they are waking up at night and they sleep at seven, eight o'clock and they wake up three o'clock in the daytime. So that the day has come to night, the night has come to day. It's a very big problem. That means complete routine change of them. Eating, sleeping, everything is changed. Okay. Then this is the, we are talking about the disadvantage. Uh, this, this comes the advantage of the, I think if I'm not, yeah, I'm not. Uh, sorry. D. Okay, now this, the, the, I was here, I, I'm, I'm talking about this. Is it okay now? Yes. You, you can see the, the slide, eh? please. Yes, we can see the online education slide. Okay, thank you, my dear. Thank you. So now the, what I'm trying to tell that uh, the, the, the time differences are there. International students who are here, the time difference and there are, so after time difference, I'm talking that there are also advantages and disadvantages for these students who are learning online. So I go to the next slide now. Let me see, advantages. The same as domestic class advantage apply. This is save time from commu commuting to institution. You see, that is also, if they would be here, for example, now they are to uh, come out from their home or the, the, the house or the dorm, dormitory, then they have to come to school, preparation and a lot of things that now it is not there. They are just with their family. And many students who come here, they feel homesick. It is surprising one day I was teaching in the class and when girl, she was crying. It is here in Canada, <clears throat> in Toronto. I told my dear, why are you are crying? What is wrong with you? She told, today is my father's birthday. So what can I say now, you see? Then her, her tears even bring, bringing tears in my eyes because I'm father of four daughters. So I told, don't worry, go outside. Just walk a little bit try to drink coffee or tea, and then you take your time and come. So this is a very big thing that when people come from, uh, international uh, students come from their home place, uh, it is not an easy job for them to forget their families and also they have a lot of psychological things they have. 
So this is uh, the, the practi practical experiences I, I, I noted. So we need to accommodate them. We are uh, relaxed and we are giving, uh, showing sympathy. We are dealing with them that uh, the, as a father is dealing with the children. And that becomes essential because of the, uh, the, the environmental causes. So the student, the, those who are brought up here and born and brought up in North American countries in Europe, they might not have all these problems because after some times in the family, they, are, they become free and they go out here and there. But in home country, in India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, uh, or Malaysia, Indonesia, it is not like that. We are very much associated with the, close with the family. So when they come from the family and the problem comes there, uh, but still that they feel comfortable there at home, they're studying, and then their families, they're providing everything to them. More attendance, easier for students to attend online, the way it is uh, here in the home country. Innovative ways to teach with technology, different programs such as online service, all these things. Platforms have functions so that uh, may make real life classroom setting, button to raise hand, all these things which I discussed in our uh, previous one, the, uh, the in-country, the same in the other outside also. Then we can, we can come to, this is a very serious issue. The, what is the advantage that international students are facing? You see, many nations where I'm teaching that international students, very low quality internet speed interrupts class for some students. Uh, relying deadlines in their time zone can be challenging. That is also one thing. They, uh, suppose they are to submit the paper, but the time zone and then uh, they are ups and down. And I, as I told you, the night has become day, day has become night for them when they are studying. Uh, time difference, that is a very challenging one. Uh, time difference makes it challenging for students to keep up with classes. Students struggling to keep up with the Canadian system, affecting their mental health, affecting their academic performance. This is a very big issue, actually. So they are now, suppose, they, they finish their 12th grade and they are university level. Whenever they started, then from here, we start giving at, we have our syllabus, we need to finish it with the subject wise. So we need to give all informations to them. So it becomes very much pressure on them, very much. If they are here, so they become in an environment, they are going to library, they are the dorm with their friends, but they are missing all these things. So because of that, the, 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 it has become a very big pressure on them. They are to now submit the assignment. They are to get the good grade, uh, lots of things. They are, they, so we, we teachers, we understand that actually uh, what a big burden it is on them. So I, in, a, in one of the previous discussion, uh, some of my colleagues told, we need to find how we shall uh, rearrange the syllabus. We don't know how far the COVID goes so we need to now work on it very closely and we need to see how we can rearrange our whole system, syllabus and everything. Here in some schools, I can see that the students, they are going to class three days and other two days they are st staying at home. That is one group. And another group is completely, they are online, they are not going to school. So we need to actually uh, the work on this issue uh, very much. Time difference makes it challenging. Uh, students struggle to keep up with the Canadian system, affecting their mental health, affecting the academic performance. Lack of resources, as I told you, that if they would be here, that they are going to the library, they are uh, reading lots, lots of books, but in a developing country, it is not very easy. Whatever they are getting through the media, through the, uh, the, the, the system, teacher is supplying them, and that's what they have. And you, you may ask, don't you have the library in your country? There is, but if, there is lockdown there. Now, if you think now the uh, India is the second uh, after uh, the, the, the America. So how can you open a library for them? The same problem is there, okay? So the, on the other hand that uh, uh, we are suffering COVID in uh, unfortunately, uh, to tell you that more than 16 of the, my family member in Bangladesh, they are positive. Three of them, then the hospital. So this is what is happening now. 
at the present situation I'm just telling about the, 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 the home country. So the students, they have limited access to the resources, no direct interaction with students that we discussed earlier. So now I come to uh, drawing conclusion, technology needs to be developed. Our technology needs to be developed. Those who are our students staying outside, we need to have a provision to educate them or to do something for them. Okay, it is very essential for us. The international students, they're coming to study here. They're spending a lot of money. So that the, the, with that, they were getting so many facilities in Canada, but now they are not getting all these facilities because they cannot come and they are not having that facility at home place also. But now there are a question came that uh, reduce the fee. It didn't work. The exactly the same fee they are paying. They, will, they used to pay when they used to do the in-class teaching like that, okay? Now, there are a lot of things comes here we need to have a discussion. We need to see how we can provide facilities to those people. Uh, sometimes I have a little bit unstable uh, uh, network. I hope you are, you are able to listen to me. Uh, it's not interrupting my talk. Orientation is needed for international students. That's what we are talking. That they need to be, they, they need to be developed with their uh, system. They need to be educated with the way of their learning because uh, it is very much new for them too. Very much new for them too. I just make joke with my uh, granddaughter and uh, grand uh, son. I tell that I have I have seen two uh, specific uh, situation in Canada. I think in Canada nobody might have uh, the, the experienced that. So then uh, granddaughter is asking she's uh, this life science. What is that? I told, first time I saw a twins from a certain family got admission in Canada in two universities. I got the second one. Then first time in my life I saw that they are admitted, but they cannot come to the Canada. They have to stay and they have to learn at home. So uh, consideration should be given to students' capabilities. Now we need to develop, that's what I'm telling, we need to develop the syllabus or we need to give the resources in such a way uh, we can't give them uh, the way we are giving that for the students who are inside and students who are outside. So I, I don't want to make any discrimination, but we need to understand their fact that how we can bring them up the same level that what we are doing inside, students inside. More interaction needs to be encouraged for both domestic and international students. So I'm so thankful to uh, Dr. Professor Lam that he brought this issue and all the, the, the brain drain, I, I think that we shall uh, take our, the brain toward the COVID and we shall try to give suggestions how we can develop. So uh, from the practical view of point, I'm teaching students in Canada, in Bangladesh, in Kenya, you see, I'm in Canada now. So students from the country inside and from country outside. So I am I'm I'm observing so many things, the advantages, disadvantages, but I have seen disadvantages are much more than advantage. So how to overcome all these uh, problems and difficulties, how to encourage the students who are abroad and how to make them happy. So if COVID continues, we need to find a way out. Now, uh, one of the students at the university here, they gave already notice that next semester, you will not be able to come. So that means completely one year. They are now at home and they are studying. So almost all universities will be doing the same because now we are, our COVID situation is not becoming better, but it's becoming worse. So the same thing at home country also. So with all these things, I wish all of you that uh, to be safe and all to take care. I can see that now uh, we are uh, uh, relieved from mask now. We are not using mask here. So this is also one advantage. Technology that we are in front of the computer, so we don't need to put the mask. But that is very essential. If you go one step outside the house, it made compulsory for us. So I wish that we shall, we shall get a great lesson from this conference and we shall try to come out with some suggestions how we can develop 
uh, our way of teaching, both home and abroad, uh, during this pandemic, uh, to make our uh, this educational program successful. I thank you all for listening. Uh, thank you, Dr. Alam, and all the uh, participants here. Thank you uh, very much, Dr. Uh, Alam, for sharing your insight and your uh, perspectives <clears throat> on online learning in a post and uh, pre COVID pre-COVID environment. Uh, they're very much appreciated. So please remember, if we all help and do a little bit, it will make a big difference.